Hi guys. This video is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Most specifically for Capricorn Sun though. Um, <clears throat> please make sure to check out your Sun, your Moon, and your Rising Sign video as you may be operating more fully from one aspect of your personality over another. Also keep in mind, though I say this is you, I am aware this can be someone else around you just as well. All right. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, that's very strong on here. Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Um, doesn't have to be any of those signs, but we're getting that type of energy. I'm looking first at the major arcana, being happy to manipulate. All right. So, again, I'm going to read this as someone else, but this may be you. But I'm getting this energy where somebody here was left out in the cold and they don't know what to do to change it. So they may be um, charging in fast or they may be like dancing around the subject or being indirect about a new beginning because the truth is coming out or did come out that this person was walking away and was happy to manipulate conflicts. This person was very hopeful and now they have a guilty conscience. And so they're trying to creatively improve it so that they'll receive an inheritance victory. Okay? So that's you or someone around you. For some of you, this could be your mother or your other woman. Okay? Or other man. Um, this could be the mother figure is doing this in this situation. Or this other woman. Or this could be a Libra, a Taurus. Um, yeah. A small business owner. Somebody who's pregnant. It could be that even. But either way, I'm going to put those back. Right. Definitely, a, this, this is a strategy, okay, that somebody here was working on. Okay, that's, that's overall what I'm getting. Very strong Gemini energy also, like I said. So, take that as you will, <clears throat> but this may have something to do with truth coming out about health, daily duties, daily routine, or service to others, okay? There could be something about that just as well. But it says, okay, this may not be you. For some of you, it is you. For others, it's not. It's something about you were being a fast talker here. Okay, you were left out in the cold because you were a fast talker. About manipulating guilt. Or to manipulate guilt. Um... Or this could be you were left out in the cold because you were a fast talker about manipulation that was going on and you had guilt that you didn't tell the truth about some sort of manipulation. Okay, so it could go either way. Let's move on to the next deck. So now we're on to the Fallen Angel deck. And guys, I have to say, this one is saying quite the same thing. So... This apparently is wanting to speak to a specific set of Capricorns here. Um, there's something here about getting a new beginning. Children could be involved. Um, or a work situation or a father figure. Okay. Either way, I'm going to take it as a work situation, but you fill in the blanks the way you want to. But there's a situation potentially at work that was legal in nature. 
So your new beginning changed and it may have had to do with something at work that was legal in nature. All right. I feel as if you overplayed an illusion. You like, you kept using the same tricks or the same tactics or something that led someone to start to understand and see a pattern in what you were doing. Okay. Some of you may have gotten like a large sum of money from your boss or from your job or from your father figure. Okay. That could be a case for some of you. But either way, it's like you overplayed your game here. This could be relating to a health issue, or it could be daily duties, daily routine, or about your service to others is what this was about for most of you, but not everyone. But either way, you overplayed this illusion here. You were pretending like you wanted to heal a situation here. Maybe even a relationship with another person. Um, but you were extremely vague, very vague about the situation. And the reason you were vague is because what you really wanted or what was really the thing was some wish fulfillment money that either you had received or were hoping to receive or both. Okay. I'm hearing the word shallow. So it was like shallow attempts at, um, It's the word reconciliation of some sort. That's the way I feel because what you really wanted was the money or this other person. That's what they really wanted. Okay. So some of you may have created distance from this person, this other person. You could have traveled far away from them or just changed the relationship altogether. It could be any of that. Okay, but I'm seeing where it's like you did not want to change the outcome of the settlement of a partner in the past, okay, or a settlement agreement in the past. So this inspired you to take off because you didn't know what else to do right? Some of you could try to control the situation by keeping it quiet also. Y'all, this can be any kind of relationship. I mean, it's business. It can be romantic. It can be any of that. But I just get this feeling of someone who just kept playing this game for too long and finally got caught. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So either you or someone around you is a very big financial manipulator, okay? I'm trying to see. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to move on to the next deck. For Gilded Regret, it says, I feel like living in the past. Please give me five more minutes to linger. All right. An elven queen with heavy eyes, her dress as blue as the clearest wave, her crown of thorns and golden clawed flowers holds a blue orb in her hand. Memories are like floating underwater, safe, warm, murky, yet the, they hold the scent of death. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting somebody who is putting off dealing with the inevitable, is what I get. The cage of our memories is the most gilded, lingering 
to the past, savoring crumb, crumbs and flashes and hints as ifs and as ifs. But is our, y'all, I can't read this and do this at the same time, but it is our sword. However, it's our shield. We follow the river against the currents to seize maybe. We cannot say life is here and now. We just say life was here. So that even when the future builds day by day, we still look backwards to memories and possibilities, options we miss, things we lost, changes we fled. It's like staying in the twilight of consciousness. The blessed state of those five minutes between the time. I, I'm not even going to keep reading this. That's very much what I'm getting. Like you either shamed somebody sexually or they shamed you sexually. That's one thing. But there's also something about um, having regrets around that, but not wanting to come clean. Like if I could just, you know, it's kind of like somebody who knows that they're going to go to prison and they're like, can you just give me a couple minutes to smoke a cigarette first and then I'll go, right? It's something like that. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's move on to the next set of cards. So the advice cards that came for you are calm the fuck down. 98% of your problems would be solved if you stopped overthinking things. You can't stop shit from happening. So learn to breathe through life's ups and downs. And then we have opinions are shit. And I always equate this with um, what I call conditioning. People being conditioned and throwing their their insults based on their own belief systems or their own lack of self-awareness or their own projections because they feel unworthy themselves. So you could be part or of these things. You could be feeling unworthy yourself so you're projecting or people could be projecting onto you. But either way, it's like, Everybody needs to just mind their own fucking business and go about their life. Do what feels moral and correct to you, okay? And allow other people to do the same. Don't let the opinions of others affect you. When someone decides to give you some unsolicited word garbage, immediately throw that shit right in the trash. Live your life for you. Fuck getting approval from anyone else. All right, so now we're going to move on to the love reading. All right, so we've got, I said, how does your love interest see you? And we got saving face, gossip and drama. I miss you. Can you forgive me? I love you so much. Your opinion matters to me. Okay, so whether I'm going to read this as they're saying this about you, but it may be the other way around. But basically, they think that you're just trying to save face. Um, that you were very gossipy and dramatic. They think that you miss them. That you want them to forgive you. That you love them. And that their opinion matters for some of you. Now, the way that I'm actually feeling it more so, though, is somebody trying to save face. They did gossip and there was drama. This person, if it's the other way around or if it's you, I feel it's more like that part is true. Um, and I feel like the two of you or one of you misses the other, right? But I, I don't know. For, for some reason, it, it comes off as this person thinks you're saving face. You were gossiping and you were being dramatic. But they miss you. And it's like they feel as if, you know, they were not 100% clean in this situation either. And they're recognizing that. And they're like trying to tell you that they love you, you know, and that your opinions do matter to them. That they do care about you. It's like I feel like there's a mutual we did something wrong here. You know what I mean? But apparently with this gossip and drama, some information got back to your love interest um, that may have upset them a bit, all right? Or vice versa, you got this information about them. 
and at the bottom of the deck we have low self-esteem so either they have low self-esteem or you do or you both do all right let's move on to the love tarot cards so your love reading is kind of on my nerves already the very first card out is ghosted i'm sorry i disappeared i needed to get away and to clear my head somebody is saying that and then they're like you're so smart your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart, and I really enjoy our conversations. Please unblock me. I miss you, and I want to connect. Please unblock me, literally or energetically, so we can speak. I have a lot to say. You're mine. You're nobody else's. I get so pissed knowing other people can have you. Is it toxic? Yes, I don't care. I want the world to know you're mine. You know what I mean? Like, this is somebody who ghosted the other person, but then they're puffing up their ego so that the other person will unblock them because they want to still have claim over this person. But whoever this is, it says mother wounds about um, my mother is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine feminine energy within me and externally so this person is trying to say you know you're mine i want to keep you i'm sorry that i wasn't able to open up the way i needed to i'm ready to change this you're my favorite person in the whole wide world when something good or bad happens you're the one i want to talk to nobody else is like you i was just showing out but i wanted to pretend like i didn't care you know this is emotional manipulation Somebody says, I'm feeling lost. I'm trying to make things work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. And it's easier to just stay in the silence. But you're my fantasy. But again, what's this last card? Playing games. This is a game to me. The way I'm acting, responding, or posting is to get your attention. All right. So whoever this person is, you do what you've got to do here. But I feel like this is a complete Mercury retrograde bullshit uh, person trying to call in another person just to play the games again to see if the other person learned their lesson. It could be because somebody felt hurt because they thought another person was cheating. Again, that could be what that low self-esteem was about. You know, somebody could have been projecting that the other person was cheating or maybe they really were. You know, either way, the point is that the feeling overall is that somebody is fluffing up somebody's ego, playing games with them, you know, like taking off and blowing up their ego. And then, you know, here we go again. I don't really like this, to be honest with you, but that won't be for all Capricorns, obviously. But please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all again soon. Bye, guys.